Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the simple linear regression and how you can implement and achieve the simple linear equation here within the R. So before I talk about the simple linear regression equations and its technicalities about how you can achieve and implement it within the R, uh, let's first talk about a quick example um, related to let's say real estate where we want to buy a home and our decision of buying a home or paying a certain price for a home is based on several factors and one of the main factors which I think everybody consider is about the square feet area which an individual is going to get based on a certain price so looking at that uh, if you are inquiring from different websites or maybe from different real estate agents and if you have collected the data you will see that as the square feet uh, area is going to increase the price is also going to increase uh, for a particular in a particular locality so in that way your price is highly related to the square feet amount uh, or the square feet area that you will going to purchase so that's a classic example uh, for a linear equation or the linear regression where based on the data you have collected you can form some sort of equation which will help you tell that if you are purchasing a hundred square feet area then what is the price what is the actual price you should you should be paying and uh, it will also help you validate whether a real estate agent or a website is telling you the true price or not for that locality based on the data you have collected so based on that you can make certain decision about how much price you should really pay and make a negotiation on it so that's a quick real life example which i have told you about uh, simple linear regression but uh, let's go ahead now within the r and see how we can achieve it so for that uh, first of all let me get some data sets so i am going and importing the library data sets which has a lot of data sets and to know what are the data sets which is available i will just write another command to get the help on the data sets so here is some information about the data sets and a lot of it data sets like air passenger some sales related data stock market related data and all that so let me uh, find one which is relevant say for example growth of orange trees so here uh, if I say view command to see the orange data set so here is a data set which tells us the age of the tree and what its circumference so maybe uh, the case is that based on the age of tree we want to predict what is the circumference of the uh, of the uh, tree is so in that case the age becomes the independent variable because based on which we want to predict uh, the the circumference of a uh, of a tree and circumference becomes the dependent variable in technical terms we call circumference a y and h an x so in books if you will see they will always explain that uh, the dependent variable is always a y and the independent variables are reflected in terms of x variable so let's go ahead and see the linear regression but before i show you the linear regression let's first see the plot of this data so let's say we want to enter plot orange dollar h and orange dollar circumference so here is a quick scatter plot if i zoom it for you and you can clearly see as the age is increasing its circumference is also increasing so that shows that it's a positive linear upward uh, trend that you can see uh, between the age and the circumference so this is a good case where we can apply the simple or the linear equation so if it is uh, upward and in linear in nature then you can apply the linear regression or if it is downward also then also you can apply the simple linear regression uh, to form the uh, predicted equation 
or the prediction equation. But if it is like, uh, if it is something like that, uh, the data is going upward until this halfway through and then going downwards, then it is not a linear trend or not going in a one single way, like upward or downward. And in that case, you cannot apply or you should not apply the linear equations or simple linear regression because your data is not linear in that case. So since it is linear upward direction trend that we are seeing, we will go ahead and uh, and implement the linear equation or the simple linear equation on that. So for that, the command to implement the linear model or the simple linear regression is LM. And if you want to know more about it, you can put a question mark and say LM. You will get a lot of details about its formula and all. So for now, uh, let's say uh, LM and within this, uh, first we want to enter the dependent variable, which is Y. So in that case, orange dollar circumference. And then with the help of this sign, this is tilt sign and this is indicating that we are entering a formula. Now we will going to enter the X variable, which is H and let's hit enter. So right now, if you see the based on this formula here, here it has given us the intercept and the coefficient of H. Uh, but apart from this, it also produces a lot of different results, which we can see by the help of the summary command. So for that, let's first store the the equation result based in some formula or uh, in some object, which is LM underscore, let's say result. And then we are saying LM orange dollar circumference and orange dollar H. So now LM result. So we have the results in this object. It will show you the similar information which we were able to see by entering the formula directly on the command line. Now let's go and hit the summary command. And within the summary command, we want to give the object name, which is LM underscore result. And now you can see it has given us a lot of different information about the residuals, about the coefficient, their estimate, their standard error, what is the T value, what is a P value to make some decisions. Apart from that, it is also showing some the residual standard errors, what is the multiple squared r squared and adjusted r squared this these are really helpful statistics to understand uh what uh the whether the model that we are producing based on simple linear regression is significant enough or not and same is the case with f statistics which helps us making decisions about the model that we are creating so these these are the different statistics that it generates and and to really understand what is going on we have to interpret each and every statistics, all these coefficients, standard error, residual standard error, F statistics, and R different R squares, which is which it is producing, and that's because a lengthy topic. Topic I am uh, planning to cover it in a next video, where I want to go to each of these ones and help you understand how uh, you can interpret and make the value out of these different statistics, which is like a lot of statistics. So. In this case, I just want to show you a few other things. Since this formula has a lot of uh, different attributes like coefficients, residuals and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to see all the list of attributes that uh, this particular object has based on the formula that you entered the formula, which is this, then you can hit simple attribute command and which is attributes and lm underscore result so it has shown me some sort of error and i think it is because of i may have a custom rm custom function which is attributes so let me quickly remove it and attribute and hopefully after that it should 
work fine all right as you can see it has removed from here um let me go back and run this function all right now it can show you so these kind of issues may come and good that it has come you will be able to see uh, uh that uh, base if you have any custom function based on any predefined function let's say attribute here in this case uh, then you may run into an issue and that's how you can quickly go and see where the issue is and figure out the details so because i knew that uh, attribute is something which i created a uh, uh, short while ago then that's why it was fresh in my memory but you may need to go like show trace back and stuff like that to really debug and figure it out uh, why the issue is coming so these are the different attributes that ca you can call so for example uh, let's say I want to call residuals so that will be lm underscore result dollar residuals and here are my different residuals for the observations similarly uh, let's say we want to call rank then put a dollar sign after the object say rank so that's how you can uh, uh, show different attributes that are related to it uh, apart from that if you want to show the confidence interval which is another property of statistical equations then you have the function conf int and give the object name which is lm underscore result so currently it shows at a 95 degree of freedom that what the confidence interval is if you want to change it you can change the level uh, from 95 degree to a 99 degree so let's say 0 0.99 then in that case that's how at 99 degree of freedom that's how your confidence interval looks like so that's pretty much all i wanted to quickly discuss in the about the simple linear regression and its different attributes and confidence intervals related things and in the next video i will talk more about the interpretation of these different statistics so that you can find a value out of it and decide whether you need to accept the model or reject the model